Hi again, Ad Combo Hero. Are you about to create your first campaign? I will introduce you to the important parts of running a campaign that will help you analyze and optimize it. I'm talking about Postback and Pixel. Also, we'll discuss an API integration that lets you promote offers independently. These topics may seem difficult to newbies, yet they are quite useful. Feel free to get back to this video a few times. Once you learn them, you'll benefit from them forever. Here we go! Postback Although AdCombo statistics provide a wide range of parameters for analytics, experienced marketers prefer using a tracking software, or both statistics in the network and the tracking software, for a deeper campaign analysis. To pass data between the AdCombo network, the tracker software, and a traffic source, use Postback URLs. Here is how Postback works. There are three Postback URLs available in the Ad Combo system, but one lead Postback is usually enough. Global Postback and Pixel can be set up in the Settings section of the Postbacks tab. They will be applied to all campaigns. If you use a tracking software, copy the postback URL generated by the tracker, and then paste it as a global postback into Ad Combo's fields. If you want to disable Global Postback and Pixel for a particular offer, go to the Offers page and tick this checkbox to add the necessary Postback URL or Pixel code. We'll talk about Pixel later. When can you use a distinct Postback link? For example, when an offer is tracked in another tracking software, or you want to track only leads on the second campaign. Note that the system searches for the global Postback first, and then for separate Postbacks for the offer. If you don't fill in any of the Postback fields, your data will be lost. By the way, to keep a user on the landing page, you can activate Comebacker. And if the user wants to leave the page, a pop-up will appear. Verify that the Postback URL works correctly before starting to promote an offer. Test your Postback URL generated by your tracking software here. We'll be using Kitaro. Or go to the testing section. From the options suggested, click an offer or campaign that you want to test. If there is a special Postback URL, it will appear in the field automatically. The system searches for all available links for the offer or campaign selected. If there are no links for the offer or campaign, then a warning message appears. This section includes the set of macros buttons. When you select one of them, a pop-up will show up asking you to enter a macro key. Add macros to the Postback URL to get more analytical data. After making a test, check both your tracking software and Ad Combo Postback logs. Once the Postback logs appear, be sure that everything is working in the right way. There are all Postback logs listed on AdCombo's side that can be filtered to find what you're looking for. 
Offers slash My Campaigns and the Settings section of the Postbacks tab also include the button Make Test next to the Postback fields. API. We were talking about AdCombo landing pages hosted on AdCombo servers. To promote such pages, just use a tracking URL with added parameters. This way of promotion is more preferable for beginners. But when you want to publish an AdCombo's landing page to your domain name or use your own landing page, deploy an API integration or the API to promote an offer and provide the data to the affiliate network. Here is how the API works. Copy your API key for your own landing page in the settings to authenticate the sending leads in the network. You can download an ad combo landing page with your API key inserted into it, along with sub-accounts and pixels. Or embed manually the API key and other data into your tailor-made landing page. To check whether the API works, either place a test order or ask your manager to make sure everything is configured correctly. Don't forget to additionally set up a postback URL to analyze your campaign's performance. Find an API guide in the video's description below. You must download a landing page and use the API integration to make your campaign more safe if you are working with Facebook or TikTok. The crucial part of driving traffic from these social medias is a pixel configuration. Pixel. Look how it works. Before downloading the landing page, complete the pixel fields. Once a pixel is created, put it here. Note that if you paste your code into pixel code, the landing page script will fire on the thank you page. Thus, only the information about users who place an order will be collected. Always make sure that your pixel works properly. You can check it with the Facebook Pixel Helper extension for Google Chrome. Visit your landing page with the pixel and test it. For TikTok, use TikTok Pixel Helper browser extension. Well, the pixel code on the thank you page collects the data about the customers who complete orders. And if you enter the pixel code in the retarget code field, then the script of your page will collect info about all the visitors of your page. If your aim is at getting data on visitors and orders, fill in both fields. Paste your pixel ID here or enable FB Pixel checkbox. Enable dynamic FB Pixel checkbox allows affiliates to not change the pixel themselves if needed. This feature is necessary if you either have a team working with Facebook or a few accounts. Enter the parameter that will record pixel ID on your landing page into this field. Then click on Save. Now the landing page includes the code that records, copies, Pixel's ID as a cookie file. Then it pastes the ID into the file index.php of your landing page to record a customer's visit. It also pastes the ID into the file order.php when the Pixel fires on the thank you page. Global Facebook or TikTok pixels are set up in the Postbacks tab.
You already know that you can disable global postbacks for an offer if you, let's say, prefer using Pixel only to track visitors on a landing page for a certain offer. Done! Download your landing page to publish it to your domain. Now you're aware of how Postback, Pixel, and API integration work. Note that pre-landing and landing pages can be hosted separately. Or you can park your domain name in Ad Combo to promote offers in a more secure way. Once the campaign is active, you'll start receiving clicks and leads. The data will become available not only in your tracking software, but also in the Statistics tab in Ad Combo. We'll tell you more about it in the next video. It's time to launch your first ad campaign, and may your first campaign's ROI skyrocket!